Good morning, Ms. Gray. This is an impromptu video that I figured I would just make for you. Hopefully this can help you and your future in math and leadership. Um, so right here on our lesson plan, we have the four PLC questions. What do we expect students to learn? How will we know if they are learning? How will we respond when students don't learn? And how will we respond if they've already learned it? And um, here, on February, the week of February 6th through the 10th, you see that we have not, we don't have our lesson plan done yet. We have structure, a template, but we don't have it done yet. But we know that we're starting the service area topic, and we just kind of filled this in. So this is not everything, but I do want to do a general overview of how I lesson plan and how I view or plan for uh, topics all the way from intro through the, the test. And so before you can make a test, before you can do any planning, you should know what the topic is. So to learn about the topic surface area of rectangular prisms, we would go to our pacing calendar provided by the district, of course. And February 6 falls under connecting geometry and algebra, which we already knew of that because we've already started. Well, at this point, we've already finished volume. So anyway. Right here, big idea number three, it says surface area, but then it has the key teak here in bold, or bolding for us. Is it bolded? I don't know, but it's bold. It's bolded. There you go, it's bolded. Use previous knowledge of surface area to make connections to the formulas for lateral and total surface area and determine solutions for problems involving rectangular prisms, triangular prisms, and cylinders. So I'm going to click on that, and when I do, it gives me... Um, Priority standard success criteria it gives me the vertical alignment. And just a real quick, you know, I won't read all this verbatimly, but you'll see here that 6.8, which is sixth grade, they had to do something about area and volume of rectangular prisms. And then they had to determine solutions for uh, those type of problems, but to include rectangles, parallelograms, trapezoids, and triangles. In seventh grade, they determined the circumference of area, they determined the area of composite figures. Um, they solve problems involving lateral and, turf and total surface area. So what that tells me already is that the idea of surface area is not new. And that's why it says in 8th grade, if RT use previous knowledge of surface area to make these connections for lateral and total surface area, but for rectangular prisms, triangular prisms, and cylinders. So really it's the shapes that we're using, and, and some of these they have seen before, but it's more the, the shapes and putting it all together. But the idea and concept is not new, okay? And so our central question that, like, provided by the district could be, what is the difference between lateral and total surface area? And how do the formulas relate slash connect to what we already know? So that kind of gives you an idea of, hey, the kids know this already. And then we would come over here and look at what's what are, like, examples of this. And you'll notice that there was only one main teak that we really need to hit in this area, or at least that the district asked us to hit. I'm sure if we dug further, we could find more, but that's not what we need to do. We are responsible for covering this teak. And so here we see from 2016, these are all the star release problems. It'll tell you right here what year it is or was that it was released. And you'll see here the state score percentage and the district, I should say, selection spread better word choice so on number 10 from 2016 53 percent of the state got it correct but the district was only at 51 percent notice that it's a triangular prism and that it asks for the lateral surface area and it's very direct notice that the same year these numbers were even lower but it's because it's a uh, fill in the blank or bubble in but it's very direct it's a rectangular prism what is the total surface area so start noticing trends. It's like it's very direct. It's flat out solved. Did that change as we get closer to modern 2023, 2017? We've got a picture again. Very direct. What is the lateral surface area? But the scores increased. And notice that um, the score increased for the cylinder. We have a prism again, a rectangular prism, but the scores dropped because there's a bubble in. But it's very direct. Here it's flat. It gives us the the base shape but it's still very direct. And so you'll see this trend kind of, oh, no picture here, but what is the total surface area? It's very direct, very direct. 
So it seems to be that surface area is going to be a very direct solve. Like it's, it's very much, they need to use their formulas and solve the problem. Identify what it's asking you, identify the correct formula, and then uh, solve it. And the most recent problems, 2022, are the same way. And this is 34. Ooh, that's nasty. I think it says 2018. It's probably supposed to be up there. But still, this idea that uh, even through the most recent times is very direct. Here, which two cylinders have the same lateral surface area? That's a new approach, but it's still very direct. They have to cal calculate it. So once you see that, once you notice the trends, you've clicked through, and like, again, just to make this video not as scary and long, you've, once you've clicked through the general idea, like um, these are summative item bank stimulus and that you can use, like usually used in like advanced classes, but we can still use that or modify it if we wanted to. But once you look through that, you'll notice the district has curriculum resources, all these strategies to scaffold and um, just support our students and especially our emerging bilingual students like here are some things we could do and keep in mind but once you know all of that it is now time to make the test and so from there when we make our test keep these things in mind keep in mind those key vocabulary words if it have helped you rewatch this video but take note of those key words okay and usually they're uh, in the teak or in the literal problem but for us it's very straightforward a word will be surface area, but more specifically, total surface area. That's a vocabulary word. You know, lateral surface area, rectangular prism, triangular prism, cylinders. Once you have a list of all those words, the idea you have the idea of what they need to know. Now we can look at making a test, and which we need to do before we fill in these blanks. And once we have our test, then we can accomplish our goal to get there, or make a plan to get there is what I should say.